The wreckage of the Botolima lies close to shore on the Congo River. On the surface, it's all broken wood and discarded belongings. It's what lies beneath that rescue and recovery workers are focusing on. The majority of bodies are still in the boat because most of the passengers were killed as they were sleeping on different levels. We need to break the boat apart, but we don't have the capacity to do more. We need help. The vessel went down on Sunday near Mayandombe province. It had left the capital Kinshasa and was headed for Mbandaka, about 700 kilometres upriver. Everything happened so fast as the boat broke up deep in the river. The passengers all panicked inside the boat, making the situation worse, and the owner couldn't do anything to control the situation. The boat was overloaded with passengers and merchandise. It's thought about 700 people were on board the boat. About half were able to make it ashore. The Congolese Minister for Humanitarian Affairs, Stephen Bayaki, says the boat was travelling at night, which is against the law. He's called for all those responsible to be held accountable. But those at the scene say they have more pressing needs. We haven't received any help from authorities to deal with the situation. We have bodies under this boat, in the river, but there's no way to remove them. Even the local rescue team are asking for money before getting in the water to remove the bodies. Where will we get the money from? Shipwrecks are frequent here, with boats often dilapidated and overloaded, and many passengers unable to swim. After 142 people were killed in a sinking in 2019, President Felix Chesikedi announced that all on board should wear life jackets, but that is routinely ignored. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera.